with leggings very opaque black leggings this no legs. i'm very conservative by the way for those of you who know you're not gonna see any legs in this video you're only going to see black opaque tights so i'm sorry about that that's not how i would style this clothing because definitely i never used to wear black opaque tights with them but So guys, this is the suitcase that we are opening. I've not opened it in like years, practically years. I think like three years or something. I've not touched this suitcase. The way it came in this house is the way literally it is. As you can see, it's even green. I think like mold. Like that looks like mold. It has dust. It has like. So basically, this is how I covered up the clothes. <laughs> in just uh, I this is a. It's like a. Is it a bathroom? It's not a bathroom. Uh, a night dress robe or whatever. And oh my god, <laughs> wow, all these clothes! Wow, okay, I'm just gonna pick out. Wow, I'd forgotten I had this. Okay, let me take this one, mm, this zebra thing. Oh my good lord, wow, just look at it. Wow. Oh, look at this crushed velvet one. Wow. Hmm. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naninga Koei. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. About this makeup look, I'm just from filming a green and gold eyeshadow makeup look and I'm just going to link it somewhere in this video, probably up there or also in the description box. From the title, today we're going to be trying on my old clubbing clothing. Why I call them old is because I no longer club, I moved towns. And also, I became a mother, I became a family, uh, there was no way I was going to continue clubbing, <laughs> randomly especially. Um, so, I used to live in a town called Mombasa in, what is it called, in Kenya, just after university, and I did a lot of clubbing at that point. And most of these clothes, as you saw from the, the little clip that I've just shown you, most of these clothes are really, really old. They, are, they, were, bought, they were bought between 2010 and 2015 so basically like over five years ago yeah over five years ago you can imagine and they've been in storage ever since i moved to this place to work because i work in this uh i work in the village as i've said ever said in my previous video i work in a very rural village in kenya and uh these clothes are basically useless and i don't know where to take them i don't know whether i should sell them whether i should give them away uh you can suggest in the comment box if you want something or something of the sort you can always write it in the comment uh, but they are old, I guess. Uh, I don't know what kind of fashion is going around in the clubs right now. I've not been to a club for over two years, so yeah, I don't know. So, um, yeah, let's just try them on and let me know in the comment section, like, is these styles really, really outdated? Some of them are really cheesy. Some of them are really, like, flashy. Because I'm just, I'm just from taking a look at them and I'm just like, mm. let me just see what... And actually the first outfit is this black and white dress and it's actually like a sports inspired dress because um you'll see the fabric up close it has like fake leather the black part is like fake leather and the white one is like a stretchy very stretchy sports like material and i remember i used to wear this dress a lot like a lot a lot a lot <laughs> what you think about it This one, I'm not gonna lie, it was my best, like it was my favorite, like I'd only whip it out when there was like a serious party, like a cocktail after party something something, and as you can see it's full of jewels, and none of those jewels is out, really nice, very stretchy. I know I'm rushing, but unfortunately guys, that's just how I do these clothing videos, because I don't want really really long video videos that will give me a headache to edit. This is just a tube dress and it's like made of crushed velvet. I remember there was a time crushed velvet was very, very much in. And yeah, it's rouged. Like the upper part is rouged, but the lower part is not rouged. And it's not fitted at the bottom. As you can see, it's loose. Like it's loose at the bottom, like sort of like an A-line. And I remember I really love this one too. So 
I guess I love them all. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, this one looks extra cheap, but I remember I used to love it when it came out, like this rouged, like tight fitted things. And I just used to wear it like full shoulder, surprisingly, not off shoulder like this. But I noticed that it does look weird or <laughs> completely up. And I had a blue one that I think I gave my sister. So there were two, there was a pink one and a blue one, and it's just see through, unfortunately. I know this one looks kind of weird, but unfortunately, I used to love it so, so much. And it's a romper, actually. So the bottom part is a short and not a dress. And it just had, like, an, uh, cutouts. I remember there's a time, like, these cutouts were so much in, and I was so obsessed with this romper. It has mesh and cutouts, like, down the front, as you can see. And the back just looks like that. It's like an open back. Speaking of more cutouts... This was also another cutout dress. It's just like a cream. It's not white. I know the camera is making it look white, but it's actually creamish. And it just had cutouts, like those tiny holes that you're seeing. Those are cutouts. And it had fringe at the bottom. Who remembers when fringe was a thing? Like, seriously, we loved fringe. Eh? You go somewhere with fringe, you feel so good. So, yeah, this was also a favorite. Like, I loved it so much. This one is also like a very formal party dress, like old school party design. Um, it just has a mesh. That uh, rouging is actually mesh. And the bottom, it's not fitted per se. It's just supposed to fall nicely on your structure. It has like high shoulders, long sleeved. And I also liked, liked it. It was nice. It was nice. Of course, I can't feel to have a one-shoulder dress. Like, seriously, one-shoulder is just my jam. Like, one-shoulder is everything. So there's just this black one-shoulder dress. And as you can see, when I stand up, it's a bit long. But, oh, guys, I forgot to say that I'm actually 5 foot 10. So some of these dresses may be really, really long on other people, but they're just okay to me. So, yeah, it just has a zip at the back. And it's just a plain dress, a plain black satin. Yeah, the material is satin. Satin dress that you can dress up and dress down. But no, you can't dress this down. It's satin, seriously. Yeah, so this next dress, I also used to love it so, so much. It's just a ruched black dress. But the back, you're going to see the back. I used to love it. It had a very long zipper. These straps are adjustable. That's why I loved it so much. So for a tall person like me, I could just adjust it to fit me. And it would fit well instead of sitting awkwardly. And there's the back. Like that zip, you could actually unzip it. And it will fall on. Fall off, I'm telling you. Fall off to the floor. So... I had to be extra careful and it's not tight it was just like fitted and of course this is not complete without a mesh dress this was just a mesh dress that i had it's got had scalloping around the neck and i had to remove the tights for this one so that well it's hard for me but yeah so that you can see the design at the bottom it's just scalloped at the bottom and it was just a simple nice black dress that's the last dress i'm going to try on honestly there were some other rompers and skirts and shorts and hot pants and and tops and all those but i could not try them all on some of them were too scandalous even for the camera and honestly i cannot wear most of these clothes right now you know as time goes by you realize like there's more to the world than scandalous outfits so the outfits are so so many and definitely i cannot try all of them out <laughs> i'll be so exhausted and i don't know what to do with them i can't donate to the people around here because why would you donate outfits for the club as in, that's just weird but um yeah um I don't know, I'm just going to keep them maybe as a vintage collection or something. They're not expensive clothes, of course, they're just cheap clothes, but as in, um, you know, they are, they, are, they, they are a part of my life and were a part of my life for some time and I really love Thank them. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this video, I'll truly appreciate it. You know, by the way, when somebody subscribes to your channel, you feel so good. When you like a video, you feel so good. When somebody comments, you feel so happy, so... Uh, please make sure that you do those things if you do feel that you liked my content I'll, I'll truly appreciate it and wherever you are, enjoy your day, your evening your night, your whatever I'll see you in my next video and bye